Good morning, everyone. My name is Morgan Miles, and I'm here with the Freshman Academy of Phoebus High School. I've been enrolled in the Acer Academy of Phoebus High School, and when I graduate college, I'm going to become a successful engineer. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael Bender. I'm here representing the Freshman Academy of Phoebus High School. I'm enrolled in the Ace Academy of Phoebus High School, and after college, I'd like to start a small business. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gerard Duncan, and I am also here representing the Freshman Academy at Phoebus High School. I am enrolled in DVP Academy at Phoebus High School, and my future career goals are to become a successful music engineer. Good morning, everyone. My name is Josiah Porter Jordan, and just like my team, I am here representing the Freshman Academy at Phoebus High School. However, I am currently enrolled in the Academy of College Experience. My future career goals is to become a nuclear engineer. Good morning, everyone. My name is Layla Price, and I'm here representing the Freshman Academy at Phoebus High School. I am currently enrolled in the Digital Video and Media Production Academy at Phoebus, but I am undecided on my future career goals. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dexter Speakup. I'm here representing the Freshman Academy at Phoebus High School. I've already been accepted to the Council Pathway at the Hampton High School, and my future career goal is to be a licensed therapist. Our team has saw a lot of how etiquette is introduced and used in our daily lives. It can be very scary when you're put in situations you have no idea of how to function in. Which brings us to our digital course, Success 100, The Etiquette Edge. The Etiquette Edge is geared towards young scholars, helping learn the different aspects and learn the different areas of etiquette. The different areas of etiquette that are included in our course are dining, dress code, hygiene, social, and internet. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is etiquette? And as we can see here, etiquette is a customary code of polite behaviors in society or among members of a particular profession or group. Now this brings us to our driving question. Are Hampton City School students adequately prepared for the social interactions that come with being career ready? And that is a great question. Are the students prepared? We have observed our peers, but not only through observation, we have conducted a survey of 230 freshman students. They were surveyed on their awareness and comfort level when it comes to etiquette and social settings. While 67 of students were aware and comfortable with etiquette and social settings, 171 of students, they were unaware and uncomfortable with etiquette and social settings. And this is a great amount of students as far as not being comfortable. And with this in mind, going back to our driving question, are Hampton City School students adequately prepared for the social interactions that comes being career ready and based on the data shown, it is an astounding no. So that means skills like etiquette should be taught in the curriculum through courses like Success 100. Now, I know you all are probably wondering, what exactly is the Success 100 digital course to etiquette edge? The etiquette edge is a digital course that helps our young learners learn when and where to use etiquette. We visited Captain John Smith Elementary School to help on training our digital course. This began the process of ensuring our young learners learn when and where to use etiquette and its social norms. We have observed many of our peers starting to stand out due to a lack of understanding of proper etiquette. If we embrace etiquette ourselves, while also passing that knowledge to younger students, we can create a cycle. That cycle could bring us into a better learning environment each day, contributing to a greater society as a whole. Now, our team has spent a lot of time reflecting on what my partner Cassie said and on the curriculum. This is a great disparity as far as the number of students who are not comfortable with their sense of self and purpose. That tells us that there are students who are not meeting the criteria of a portion of a Hampton graduate. Now, although we have content knowledge, we have career life skills, and we have communication, collaboration, and leadership, but if we're not careful, we're going to miss the ball with positive sense of self and purpose. And one of the key parts of having good sense of self and purpose is maintaining healthy interpersonal relationships. And drawing back to what Layla previously stated, students are equipped with etiquette less and less every day. However, with our digital course, we believe that we can change the directions of the stats previously shown by Cassius. We have demonstrated this by partnering with Captain John Smith Elementary, where the students quickly grasp and then model the concept shown. And just as we did at John Smith, we hope to be able to the schools both inside and outside the district. With our digital course, we believe that we can change the entire demographic of what the portion of a Hampton graduate is supposed to reflect, really honing on a superintendent's master plan 2.0. And for future connections, we hope to offer our course as a signature experience for elementary school students. 
And as you can see here, this is our digital course working in action with the wonderful students at Smedley Meister. We really think we're able to instill a good sense of manners and the beginnings of etiquette that will really help them in the future. And this here is a short OVR digital course. Let's take a look. And here it goes over the different modules that the students can interact with. And the wonderful thing about our digital course, it can be teacher-led or self-paced. It has various videos after each topic so the students can watch and learn. And at the conclusion of all modules, the young learners able to take a final test to certify themselves as a certified AKA Explorer. After our visit, we sent a survey to Smith Elementary School to assess our performers, preparedness, and engagement. There was something we could improve on, such as our preparation engagement, but we're going to keep that in mind for our future visits. While completing this project, there were many things that made us proud. However, there's a couple areas that we can improve on, such as having more hands-on activities for our young learners to help model what we're trying to convey. Another area that we can improve on is time management. We feel we spent a lot of time working on our actual digital course and not enough time on follow-ups with our young learners. As a recommendation to Hampton City School, we believe that a class similar to Success 101 although tailored to elementary and middle school students, should be implemented into the curriculum. Instead of covering career readiness, it will cover subjects that help convey a positive sense of self-worth and maintaining healthy interpersonal relationships. We also highly recommend Success 100, the etiquette edge, be a signature experience at an expo, similar to the one freshmen attended back in October, though for elementary and middle school students. Now, before we get to our questions, we have ourselves a self-assessment. The items we've assessed ourselves on are citizenship, collaboration, communication, creative thinking, critical thinking, and wellness. And over here, we have our scores. We would like to give you time to review amongst yourselves. And reflecting back on the presentation, we can tell that Success 100 is telling tell the students reach the expectations to become a Hampton graduate. However, current readiness is often first introduced to us during our freshman year of high school. And how can we really be correct without the appropriate level of social training? That's what our digital course comes to action. Success 100. We believe that Success 100 should be taught to both elementary and middle school students. This will allow those students to reach those levels of preparation at an earlier age, also allowing them to prevail during the high school experience. We thank you for all your time, attention, and support, and we look forward to being instrumental in implementing a great society. With that being said, that brings us to our question. Thank you, team. Judges, you may now begin your three-minute question and answer session. I just had a quick question. What program did you use to create the modules? The software that we used to create it is all Articulate 360. And to elaborate even further, we used a free trial of Articulate 360. <laughs> For most of the time, it's accessible by Chromebook and by the internet. And since we use our, we created our digital course through digital, Art, Articulate 360, a digital course, that helped us expand to more people since we have such a small team. Also, when we were developing the course, we actually developed it using Chromebooks, so it does work. Do you plan to go to another elementary school or another school to get collect more data? We are really trying to push forward with that plan to visit one or two more so we can implement it in more places. So uh, what age group are you focusing on that? Because I know you said like elementary, right? That y'all went there. Um, do you have first and fifth grade there? So what, is it just elementary as a whole, or are you focusing on one particular like, age group or grade level? So we are trying to uh, target areas where uh, the youth are starting to develop. So mm -hmm. that would be fifth grade and maybe seventh. So those areas where students are, are starting to transition, 
is where we're trying to implement our course. So the fifth loop and to seventh grade. Now, two part to that, second part to that is, I see that you guys, the way that you got your impact measurements was that you surveyed 238 freshman students to determine their level of comfort when it came into social interactions and etiquette, right? So my question is, you used 238 freshman students, but you implemented on elementary age kids, right? So two different levels of understanding, let's just say. So the first part to that is, how are you going to implement a plan to be on the level of elementary school age kids, fifth to seventh grade, and then also what about the freshmen that y'all surveyed? What about their advocates? Um, can you restate the question? Okay. All right. So here we have two parts. You did a survey of 238 freshman students, right? So. 38 freshman students level of understanding when it comes to etiquette, right? And social interaction. You use it which you took to survey 238 freshman students, which are implemented on fifth and seventh graders. Two levels, grade levels of understanding. How are you going to change your plans to fit the grade level that you're teaching etiquette? Right. Um, training? Yeah. Yeah. Um like last like year, saying, yeah, it's for fifth grade. In in, in our high school, um, we were gonna actually, you know, teach the kids that needed help with social training and like, you know, etiquette, and you just help them. And, and they could just use our digital course as well, just for you know all ages that don't know about etiquette. So are you are you saying your course is a one size fit all? So our course is mainly for that age group, but we wanted to survey freshman students to show that there is no etiquette training in that age group when there should be. You all put a, a, a class out about that. I think it's broken into three categories that we engage in. Was that from surveying the elementary students that you all work with? Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? So um, that um, yes, it was just a survey of how our performance was, our engagement, and you know, is how we can improve on those levels. Did you, was there any kind of question or assessment as to how much they understood from the assessment training? So, so, so was there any way to document, I know you talked about your performance as far as presenting it to them, but was there any way to um, capture if they understood, comprehended what you all were trying to get? Right, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, um, I, one of the kids actually reached out to us that we were talking to, and he actually said he actually grew from that, and he actually took etiquette and used it for his classmates as well. Excellent. I was thinking that maybe that would also help address the question as well before, maybe even like a pre and post test, but they understood before you did that and after. Thank you so much, team. You all did great. You may exit the stage left.